This video is sponsored by VIPSADKey.com. VIPSADKey.com is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSADKey.com offers a legit Windows 10 key for only $22 and Windows 11 key for $32. This is the same keys I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC. To get it for only $16 for Windows 10 key and $23 for Windows 11 key. You now have your legit Windows 10 or 11 key license all set but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal or Maya. Visit VIPSDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSDKey.com for sponsoring this video. Previously, we unboxed the ASUS Store Lacoste Store 2 Gen 2 AS6702T NAS or Network Attached Storage. So kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, the video is up on the channel. We've also talked a bit about ASUS Stores as a company. So in this video, we'll then proceed to the full review of the ASUS Store AS6702T NAS. From initial setup, features, some file copy tests, and of course, some insights about the product and the hard drives that we're using. But before everything else, let's answer first this question. Why should you get a NAS. In my case, I'm a content creator and I work on projects with multiple computers and even remotely with my editor. So having a shared network storage makes this much easier kasi it's all stored in one place, within the network or even everywhere basta may internet connection ka. My computers here can access all of the files easily. Di na need magkapi from one computer to another. Another use case would be media sharing between users on your network. So halimbawa, gusto mo magstream ng mga movies na save on your NAS to multiple devices at home, pwedeng pwede natin gawin dito. So the target market for a NAS like this would be content creators who want a more streamlined storage solution or even a small team of creators who work on a project together. Or kahit hindi ka naman content creator but you have a lot of files or data on your hands that you want to store safely. Maybe getting a NAS should be on your considerations as well. With that said, let's talk about the ASUS Store AS6702T. This is a 2-bay NAS in compact form factor, which I liked. Mas madali ilagay somewhere or even at your desk. Walang problema dahil maliit lang ang footprint. At the front, my LED indicators for the status of the device, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port at the front, two hot swap hard drive mounting base, and minimal ASUS Store branding logos. At the back, you'll find a 70mm cooling fan, dalawang 2.5G LAN ports, which could be combined together with a supported switch to increase performance, as well as another USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and an HDMI 2.0B port for video output, a Kensington lock hole, and the power adapter jack. Opening inside, we'll see the 4 M.2 NVMe slots, not too less by the way, which can be configured either for caching or for standalone storage or both. Pwede mong i-mix and match, which is nice because some other NAS in this segment only allows for caching. So kung gusto nyo mas mabilis na performance, there's this option as well since this also supports the PCI 3 standard. Makikita nyo rin inside yung RAM slots, which could be used to upgrade the memory up to 16GB DDR4. It's also equipped with the Intel Celeron N5105 quad-core CPU running at 2.0GHz, which is useful for 4K transcoding and running other applications inside the NAS. Budget-wise, this looks sturdy enough while being lightweight weighing at only 2kg without any drives inside. On the hard drives that we'll put inside, we've used two 4TB Seagate's IronWolf series NAS drives, which are designed and recommended for NAS applications. So why use Seagate IronWolf drives? Ang kaiba nito from the regular drives such as the Barracuda or Firecuda is that they are designed for prolonged operations like 24-7 at close proximity with other drives, which is the case with a server like this. So they were designed to be more vibration resistant and has higher endurance ratings compared to the regular ones. They're also available on higher capacities, longer warranty periods, and usually does come with their data rescue service along with the warranty. With those things, you're paying for the reliable as well as your peace of mind. Setting up the ASUS Store AS6702T is very easy. For starters, check nyo yung quick start guide but we'll show you it here in this video as well for your reference. After assembling the NAS and putting all the drives inside, pwede nyo na itong i-connect either on your router or network switch or directly on a spare LAN port in your computer. Check nyo din if 2.5G supported yung port na gagamitin nyo for connecting the device for maximum performance. Then on your computer, download the ASUS Store Control Center application. Install it and then run, make sure na nakakonect yung NAS on the network. Click scan and then mag appear dapat yung NAS as an initialize sa status. 
Click it, the uninitialized word, and then a browser window should open with the setup for the ADM or the ISO Store Data Master, which serves as the NAS operating system. Click the forward arrow to go next. Then follow the on-screen prompts to initialize the NAS. You can also choose to set it up easily by going with a one-click setup or manually to see how easy it is. So here, you'll be prompted to type in the server name, a local account name and password for it, which will be used to log in on the NAS. It will also ask for the storage configuration. There's two options, balance and maximum capacity. And since we're using two 4 terabyte Seagate IronWolf drives here, we've decided to go for the maximum capacity option, which is essentially a RAID 0 configuration. There's no redundancy here or anything, but in our case, kasi we have a separate storage that we can use for backups. So we aim here for maximum performance and capacity since this NAS will be primarily used as a storage for editing. Here you can see the total capacity as well as the RAID configuration. You can also check support snapshot backup so that there could be versioning of your files. Initializing is quick after that depending then ito siguro sa size ng drives mo. In our case, it took less than a minute to proceed from 0 to 100%, though natagalan lang sa amin since we figured out that the NAS wasn't connected to the internet since the next part is asking to register for the ASUS Store ID to enable features like remote access, easy connect, dynamic DNS, and product updates. We skipped this option but we recommend for you to do so para ma-utilize mo yung mga features na nabanggit. And that's it for the initialization part. After that, we've chosen to do a quick guide kung saan pinagawa kami ng another user account if there's another user on the NAS. In this case, my editor did another account for him. You can follow the succeeding quick tutorials in order to learn more about the NAS functions, which I think is very intuitive and brilliant kasi this will drastically reduce the learning curve of the ADM operating system. We've also set a static IP address on one port on the network settings so that the IP address of the NAS won't easily change when connected to the router, which we'll then use to map the drive or the storage volume in our computer. And for the ADM operating system user experience, for us, it looks great and honestly, it's easy to use since most most features and setting are named very well. And the UI itself is intuitive. There's also a lot of apps available on their App Central, including third-party ones, which definitely highlights the support for the NAS and operating system is quite huge already. There's a lot of custom possibilities inside. Kalikutin nyo lang on the settings, including running virtual machines and containers. The ADM installed on this NAS is well equipped with tools to protect your data from inside and out, with multiple security features, built-in firewall, clam AV antivirus, and multiple backup solutions. There's also mobile apps available for this NAS, utilizing ASUS Store's Easy Connect technology which allows you to connect to your NAS from anywhere either with an Android or iOS device. Dito, pwede mo i-download yung mga files mo from your NAS to your device remotely or even stream multimedia which is stored on your NAS. So for a quick glimpse on how fast is the performance with the ASUS Store AS6702T, I tried copying a big file from my desktop which is using a Gen 4 NVMe SSD to the NAS. Here, we can see that speeds reach more than 250 megabytes per second, which is the expected throughput of a 2.5 gigabit connection. Aggregating both ports with supported routers and network adapters could increase that up to 5 gigabits per second. Moving the file back to the desktop from the NAS also give us similar speeds. Not really bad, especially in our case as we plan to edit videos and photos directly from the NAS. In my opinion, I think the ASUS Store Locker Store 2 Gen 2 AS6702T is a great choice for both content creators creators and enthusiasts who wants a good solution for their data storage needs. Asus Store said that it's the no compromises 2.5 gigabit NAS and I think they are somewhat right on that aspect. With a good hardware inside, including a lot of features, custom possibilities, and performance that could be improved with the right hardware selection. At this price point, there's nothing really else that can be considered as a deal breaker. So if you're looking for a 10 gigabit port here, then I think the larger models of this series could be on your considerations. For most creators who are are not dealing with high bitrate media at most, 2.5G is more than enough, I think. And having the option to combine the two ports is really great, especially with the support of the SMB multi-channel configuration. With the SRP of $459, this might appear more expensive than other 2 bay NAS, even on the ASUS Store's lineup, considering this doesn't even come with any storage drives yet. And when we're talking about drives, you can easily spend more especially when going in NAS-specific drives, like the Seagate Iron Wolf ones. But considering its feature-rich and easy-to-use environment, good hardware inside, its compact size for a 2 bay NAS, and its 3-year warranty, I think its worth is justified.